In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form using Forminator. And this is exactly what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. So let's see how the form works. If I enter in my details under Enquiry, I choose Product Enquiry. Then I go ahead and enter in my text here. Hi there. Thank you. I click on Submit. The form is submitting. Thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch shortly. So the form is being submitted. Awesome. Now if I go to the back end of my website, scrolling down, I go over to Forminator, then I click on Submissions. Under Forms, make sure Contact Form is selected. Then you go ahead and click on Show Submissions. I have the submitted form right here. I just click on it to open it up. So this is the first name, last name, the email address of the sender, phone number, the subject, and finally the message. Similarly, this information will be submitted to the email address you'll be providing as your recipient address. And I'll show you how we can achieve this in the tutorial. So if you like what you have seen and want to create a contact form like this, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create our contact form, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, I search for Forminator. I have the plugin here, Forminator Contact Form Payment Form and Custom Form Builder by WPMU Dave. I click on install now. The plugin is installed and activated. Now, if I refresh the page, then I scroll down, you see that I have Forminator here. Just hover on it, then go ahead and click on Forms. From here, I click on Create. And in this pop-up, you can choose whatever form you want to create. You can create a request a code form, registration form, contact us form, newsletter sign-up form, or login form. For this tutorial, we are creating a contact form. And it should be noted that you can create your form from scratch or you can create using a template. And I'm going to show you how we can create our form from scratch. So I select blank, then I go ahead and click on continue. Let's give it a name, so I'll call it contact form. I click on create. Alright, I have my form builder right here. At the moment, we don't have any fields. So let's begin to insert some fields. I click on insert fields. And from here, I choose the particular field I want to insert. Since we are making a contact form, we want to get the names of our users. So we select name. Going down, click on insert fields. In this pop-up under labels, you can choose a single field or multiple fields. At the moment, single field is selected where you have one field for users to enter their names. Let's see the multiple fields. With multiple fields, you can get prefix. For instance, where users can select their designation like Mr, Mrs, Doctor, Professor, and more. You can also allow users to enter their first names, middle names, as well as last names. So whichever way you want it. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the multiple fields. Meanwhile, I don't need the prefix. I don't also need middle name. Next, let's go over to settings. This field we are trying to add, is it going to be a required field or an optional field? I'm going to go ahead and make it required so that it will be mandatory for users to enter their first names. Let's go to last name. It's also going to be required. All is set. I click on apply and our first field is added. The next field we want to insert is email. So I click on insert fields. I have email right here. I select it. Going down, click on insert fields. The label is going to be email address. If you want to add a placeholder which will give users idea as to what they are going to be entering, you can enter it in here. You can also add some description for the field. Let's go over to settings and it's going to be a required field. I click on apply to insert it. The next field, I'm going to insert a phone number. I have phone here. I click on it. Going down, I click on insert. The label is going to be phone number. And the placeholder, I'm going to use my Ghana number. And the settings, it's not going to be a required field. So I leave it as it is. Under validation, we can set it to national or international. If it is national, 
you can choose your country name for instance Ghana and if it is international I can also choose Ghana you can also set character limit for this demonstration I'm going to limit it to 12 going down I click on apply next I click on insert fields and this order I'm going to provide a field where users can choose an option I click on select going down I click on insert fields the placeholder I'll enter choose option the label is going to be inquiry you can give it a description which is optional going down this is where we enter our options so the first option I will say general inquiry the second option will be product inquiry I can add an option here I click on add and I go ahead and enter it here something like that it should be noted that you can select any of these as the default option but I'm not going to do that I'll just leave everything unchecked next let's go over to settings it's going to be a required field going down I click on apply finally let's insert the last field I click on insert fields and it's going to be a text area going down I click on insert the label is going to be message the placeholder you can enter something in there which is optional so I leave the default text settings is going to be a required field going down I click on apply and it is added we can preview our work and this is how it will look like perfect let's exit all is set let's go ahead and publish our form all right the form is published and we have the short code to the form right here all we need to do is just copy it and we can add the short code to whichever page we want i'll exit from here now in case you have missed the short code you can easily come to the gear icon right here then you click on copy short code and you see that it is copied if you are finding value so far please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on youtube and also benefit more people all right let's continue now let me show you how you can add the form to any page of your website first of all let's see how we can add it using gutenberg so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new page hover on page click on add new page meanwhile i'll right click and open link in a new tab because i don't want to lose this interface we'll be coming back to it and uh, add title i enter contact page you can give it whatever name you want next i click on this plus icon right here then i search for short code then i search for forminator i have forminator form right here i just click on it and you see that it is added by default you don't really need the short code in here now if you want to use the short code let me show you how you can do that so if i click outside maybe i want to add some text i'll just say form with code something like that hit enter then i go ahead and use short code i search for short code i have it here just click on it then i paste in the short code i publish publish it is published i can view the page from here so this is the first one the one i've inserted using the formulator widget going down is the one i've inserted using the short code so whichever one you want to use is your call so i will go back i don't really need this one i just go ahead and delete it i'll also delete this title and I update now that we have seen how to embed our form in Gutenberg let's see how we can do that in Elementor I already have the page where I want to add my contact form so I'll just go ahead and click on contact us this is how the page looks like and this is the very portion I want to add my form I click on edit with Elementor inside the Elementor editor I scroll down to the location where I want to add my form and the search widget i search for short code i have the widget here i drag it in here then i go ahead and paste in the short code and i have my form right here i click on update let's take a look going down i have the form right here perfect now let's test the form out so i fill in my details as a customer and the inquiry is going to be product inquiry in the message i will just enter this text then i say thank you click on send message 
it is submitting thank you for contact us we'll be in touch with you shortly so the form is submitted now let's see how we can access the form submission if i go to the back end then i go over to forms i'll just right click on it open link in a new tab right here we have the form submission this is the very last one i just click on it then i click on the number right here to open the submitted information from here i drop down the arrow to have access to the whole information now let's see more customizations we can do on our form i exit from here for instance if we want to change the color of the submit button let's see how we can achieve that going back first of all before we do that let's see how we can customize the button text to do that right here you see that we have send message let's click on the gear icon that's edit field and this way you can change the text you see that it is set to send message and we can change it from here so if i enter submit then i click on apply you see that it is now set to submit next let's go over to appearance going down to colors it is set to default let's choose custom scrolling down we have submit button drop down the arrow here and this way we can change the background color so just click on the color here and you can choose whatever color you want i just go ahead and paste the color code right here i've already copied it to my clipboard we can also change the hover color so i click on hover i click on the color and this way i enter my hover color just paste it in there all is set i click on update you see that it is saving right here it is updated going back to the front end i refresh and you see that the button text has changed to submit and the color too has changed awesome let's see some more settings going back let's go over to email notifications right here you see that we have admin email so this is the email address where your form information will be submitted to if i click on the gear icon right here click on edit under recipients you can change the email address from here if you want your form submission to go to so many recipients this way you can enter all the email addresses and you need to make sure that they are being separated with comma now let's go over to advanced under advanced you see that right here we have reply to if i click on the plus icon right here then i select email what this means is that if the form is being submitted to our email address we can reply to the sender through our email inbox and this is kind of cool i click on add then i go ahead and update it is saved and now we are done with all the customizations we want to perform on our form so that's it on how you can create a contact form using Forminator. Now, if you want to learn how to create a multi-step form using Forminator, stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I will see you in that video.